Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. I do hope that you all didn't miss me as uh, we have to postpone a couple of breakfast show as well as live FB due to my work commitment as we are having an audit from the Securities Commission. No worries, it's not one of those, uh, you know, what we call uh, 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 audit. Uh, but it is a very good uh, thing that is happening. I think many of you may know our company, Trade BSA, may be in the final approval uh, for uh, from the SC. So we're going through all these things. But let's get on with our breakfast show this morning and what we have for you. And uh, let's take a look. So in our breakfast show this morning, our focus will be on the US market. Thank you. Good morning, Jaime. Good morning, Colin. Thank you for coming to today. It's a bit on the US market. Just going to give you an update. Those of you who follow the US market and I think uh, the correction that we see over the last two weeks has indeed give you a good perspective. As a matter of fact, I was going to be speaking this live Wednesday on Wednesday for those of you who have time that this is actually a very good market to be uh, getting back uh, especially those of you who wanted to aim and we are continuing to improve our product and services uh, one of the things that we hope to release is the US Sharia list which we will probably include in the smart Robbie let's keep our finger crossed for that once we get hold of those data then you are able to see some of the Sharia compliance share for the US market especially in the context uh, we are exploring the US market. So let's take a look at what we have for you this morning. So this morning is the NASDAQ. We know the NASDAQ. Let me just show you the chart and swing over to here. And you just click on S&P 500 on the buttons here. And, um, and of course, if you look at the uh, top, uh, most active is NVIDIA. Uh, then you have uh, hands-on motors. This again uh, applies to S&P 500. Intel was still down because of the massive lawsuit they're going through. Big gainer was like uh, NVR. That's wow. I never seen stock that is 8,500 ringgit. So 8,500 US dollar. That is definitely a first time. Up 80%. Booking is up 48%. Ely is up 46%. Uh, FICO is up 35%, but you need to really check on this. Well, lay down or check on this whether this is true. I haven't seen anything go up so much. Uh, AutoZone was down 36%, and these are very, very, very big number as we are coming into it. But let's take a look at the S&P 500. As you can see, uh, remember, we're going to be able to rotate the chart. So I'm just going to share with you how we can rotate the chart. So on top of me here, what you have is a chart so you can see the uh, red Pentagon which actually happened on the 18th of July and uh, this is where the bottom is you can see this chart here this this one here that was the bottom and the bottom actually happened on the 5th of August so we only about a week so that was a nice slam down in here the big sell off and that's why you know we are likely to see uh, probably which I did inform the members in our premium class uh, VSA 360 premium membership the weeks which is the volatility index. We are hit 65, and every time when you hit that number, market likely to rebound. And of course, uh, there will be another dip back down as you can see from this chart it's going up here we have a dip back down and what you want to be looking for is a double bottom and once you get this double bottom in here we are likely to see another rally uh, which is what i'm going to update you with the harris and watts uh, campaign against the trump and uh, jd vance so that is also one of the uh, presidential election where we are heading to november 6. so you can see from the chart here the uh, breakdown into the just touching above the 5,000 mark here. This is where the 5,000 mark and that's the market we're able to pick up. We did hit a high somewhere around here for the uh, S&P 500 which was at the 15, uh, 15, 16 July. So that was a significant drawdown in here and like it or not, these are within the pullback significant value. So nothing to be you know really, really scared of. As I said before, these are within the, uh, the, the pullback now, the uh, red pentagon, this is red pentagon, it's not green pentagon. Let me just make an amendment here. So we are in the red pentagon, uh, almost 16 bars. 
since uh, we have for the S&P 500 and also the Dow Jones, we are likely in the stage four, end of stage four, moving to a stage one. That's what I talk about the double bottom, which I'll share with you shortly. And also uh, we'll be looking at stock collection lease. And of course, every time with this market going through kind of volatility, there is always opportunity with the Roby FA collection in here. Now, unfortunately, some of the stocks that we have uh, don't pay so much of a dividend, maybe Later on, when we look at the uh, the Roby FA stock, we're able to find one which is uh, Exxon Mobil, and of course, Smart Roby is powered by Pentagon Guider, and many of you may have already know that. All right, so give it a shout and do share this link in your background and share it with your friends, and we will really appreciate that uh, uh, shout out in here. Now, news that drive the market in here, and and we have known right, the stock market was a wild week, and of course depending whether you listen to the bear sifu or the bull sifu in here the bear sifu say oh this uh uh correction is is eminent it's going to go down as i said before early on the weeks uh, which is a 65 which i did see a lot of seasonality now nothing has broken much if you look at in terms of the u.s market uh the job numbers came uh less and that's why we saw the market rally of course uh the inflation figures are coming down so what we are waiting for is the fed rates cut which is happening next month in here and of course uh, uh kamala harris and Walt team votes also said that they will not interfere with the feds in the rebound in trump because trump is very very adamant on on uh changing or asking federal reserve to uh to to so-called reduce the or cut interest rate in favor of big corporation in here so as such that if you look at the three month year to date for the sector uh, real estate is up 14 percent uh, luxury uh, utility communication xfp which is the uh, staple consumer which is like your malaysia consumer and then you have the s p final which is up three percent and where is the xlk if you look at energy for the last three months, it's only up 0.5%. And this is where I talk about the uh, very, very good correction pullback. If you look back, in terms of the presidential year, right, every time when the market about to uh, go into the presidential election, which is in November, you will see this kind of correction. So the figure at XLK, which is a technology stock at 0.56, it does represent a good correction period for those of you who is looking to go in and buy some more stock before the next rise. And of course, many of you may not able to see it because I've been you know long enough in the market to see this kind of a uh, good opportunity. And I do think that some of you who's been following me will also see that too and of course there are many ways you can open up the account in the u.s market and eventually when we do get our u.s sharia uh, then you're able to use smart roby and and uh, use that to buy some of especially many of our members and our smart roby users are uh, from the uh, muslim community and we're able to use this to buy the u.s stock so let's hope this thing we were able to implement this feature now of course if you look at the u.s index stock uh as of last friday uh only consumer stable is green and been 27 days everything is red all right so the technology and semiconductors are in red you can see that red for 22 days uh technology has been red xlk has been uh, down 22 days all right so take note of that in here and if you look at the uh s p as well as the dow jones that we have in here this is pretty within the respective pullback you can see the market hit a double top and that's why you know double top is actually the resistance around the 41,000 mark here pullback right just at 39,000, and it is above the 200 day moving average which is despite the big sell-off that you had and again i talk about the uh, job claims number in us did hold back and it was less claim so the market rebound back and you're going to be seeing a sideway accumulation likely in the stage one accumulation right so uh the june seasonality we did see a crops up but we're looking at the downside so right now for our vsa trader and for our smart review user you want to see this accumulation 
looking for sign or strength in the background, right? Sign or strength in the background, which means the market moves sideways. You want to see a lot of uh, green triangle like spring, like test. That's what you are looking for and that is necessary. And for those of you, I do think that if you are not looking for a green Pentagon, looking for longer term investment, actually this is a very, very good level to be buying some of the stocks that we have. And looking at NASDAQ, which is also the technology sector in here, it's kind of downtrend and you can see been down for 22 days, almost a month, 16 bar. So it's very nice, the downtrend coming down and uh, we are looking for uh, uptrend in here. Holding above the 200 day moving average, which you can see this red thick bow red line crossing downwards of course the railway track which is you know the 20 and the 40 down so likely to uh, stay on okay on the 200 day moving average as we are waiting for the news of the interest rate cut uh, which is coming soon here right so look for sign of strength in here now in terms of our stage two shares what are stage two here? these are stage two continuation of trend you can look at some of these and one of them is alibaba so go to i just want to show you alibaba right you go to stage two shares and i think it's number five baba okay because many of you all are kind of very centric towards the uh, chinese market uh okay let's look at that 79 dollars to 80 dollars so let's look at this here and uh, see the chart so you can see this is a really nice uh how how do i say it huh? green pentagon somewhere in uh 5th of uh 3rd of july and started to hold a very nice space moving up in here i think longer term china still takes some time before it can move higher but what's really significant about this is the nice double bottom that you see 7th of july and also the fourth uh the so-called uh fourth fourth right, 7th of july and the markings here at the bottom here 5th of august so you can see that is a nice one so it's a nice stage two uptrend here check out the others one and two because some of these you may not be familiar with those stocks name in here but i do think they it does rep represent some sort of opportunity going forward okay now uh, you can subscribe to our daily newsletter that's a qr code and also uh previously i did talk about the sharia but the, the current way we are doing it is you go over to wahid group and there is an excel spreadsheet in here so check out that one that has at least about 220 plus us quality shares you can trade on that will be your sharia guide for our beginners us market for smart roby look at the fa stocks and if you look at the fa stocks just go to main menu here and there are five, but I kind of like this couple too, Fox. Uh, and uh, we have the Victoria's Secret, which in Malaysia sell the uh, perfume and also the body care, but in US more focus on lingerie. And we also have the oil and gas, the big guy rated at five and rated at five is the Exxon Mobil. All right, let's take a look at Exxon Mobil. For our first one being, you know, again, double bottom here, turn green Pentagon. And if you look at Exxon Mobil, let's check out uh, the stock fundamental. They do pay something less than 2% dividend, I believe, right? Uh, you know, 3% dividend, okay, with a PE of 14 times. So that looks pretty good for Exxon Mobil. Will it break the 120? All right, uh, you can see. Then next one is uh, Victoria's Secret. All right, double bottom also, you can see from here, one and two. Okay, two double bottom, then the market holding up at $20. We'll come back in two weeks' time to take a look at this too, all right? And of course, Pentagon Guider powered by uh, volume spread analysis in here, Red Pentagon, and we are in the last phases of testing out our watch list. We will be uh, moving out the watch list once we complete uh, testing in here, where you will get the green notification and uh, up notification very, very soon, all right? So check it out in here. Our breakfast show that we run every two weeks on the uh, second and fourth week here all right of course a uh, little bit of a summary before we turn up if you want any u.s stocks you want to look at uh does market likely to turn sideways the expectation of the interest rate cut in september uh the lower job claims was quite good market correction is really good thing you know uh, collecting quality good shares and ready for the year-end rally which is already in month of september in here and those of you who want a bit of roby fa stocks check out those two we mentioned in here all right so that's all we have for this morning in here. And of course, uh, for our those of you who wanted to upgrade your membership, VSA 3CC, check it out in our assessment in here. Uh, great success story in here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, all right? To our YouTube channel uh, for more uh, educational tips and also 
right and uh, our telegram channel in here so any stocks that you want me to look at on the u.s market i think a lot of them are you know really really uh, correcting give you a good opportunity to re-enter it and i think uh, for those of you who are longer term can really look into the market now that's all i have for this morning in here so i'll see you on wednesday